LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, but have different retainer clips underneath the keys. To help you find the correct repair video for your keyboard, we've created a searchable database. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, enter your laptop brand and model number, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on View Videos. A list of all compatible videos will appear. Select the retainer clip model that matches your keyboard. That's all, you're now ready to repair your laptop keyboard. For this keyboard, we will be showing the removal and reattachment of the J key for standard size keys, Enter for the wide set keys, and F11 for the top row small keys. To remove the standard size keys, insert a tool underneath the upper right corner, apply gentle upper pressure, and the keycap will be removed. To remove the retention clips, support the bottom of the clip with your finger, and insert a tool under the upper right corner, and apply upward pressure slightly to the side to detach. Push down, and the clip will be removed. To reassemble your clips, we'll begin with the top clip, which has two holes at the top side. And on the bottom clip, there are two small divots here and here. To connect the two halves together, we will take the bottom clip and insert the top through the middle sideways, such that the plastic support arms are inside the holes on the side, and then push slightly downward so that they enter the support channels. Then, using metal hooks here, 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 and here, we will lay the clip down bottom first, push upward and down slightly on each of the corners until it is in place, put the key cap back on top, firm press, and we're functional. To remove the wide set keys, Insert your tool under the upper right corner, apply gentle upward pressure on either corner to detach from the metal support arm. In case the metal support arm doesn't remove itself alongside the keycap, simply push one end to the side and lift, push the other direction, and it will be removed. To remove the retention clip, support the bottom of the clip with your finger, insert a tool under the upper right and left corners by small upward pressure, push downward, and the clip will be removed. To reassemble your clips, we'll begin with the top clip, which has two small holes at the bottom beside slight angles. For the bottom clip, there are two upward divots and a notch facing this direction at the top. Similarly to the standard size keys, we will connect the two halves together by inserting the top half through the bottom, connecting in the middle, pushing downward slightly, then using metal hooks here, 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 and here, we will lay the clip down, bottom first, support at the bottom, small press at either corner. We will then put the metal support arm back in place using the top set of holes here and here by inserting one end, pushing all the way over, inserting the other end, laying down flat, we will then take our keycap, place on top of everything, give a small press around all sides, and the key is functional again. To remove the top row keys, insert your tool under the upper right side, apply gentle upward pressure to each of the corners if necessary, and the keycap will be removed. To remove the retention clip, support the bottom of the clip with your finger, insert a tool under the right side, Upper pressure, repeat with the left, and clip will be removed. To reassemble your clips, we'll begin with the top clip, which has two long holes at the bottom and two thinner ones at the top. For the bottom clip, the slightly rounded edge and two holes will be on the top side as well. Unlike the standard and wide set keys, these clips do not need to be connected at any kind of angle, so simply line the two halves together, small press on either side, ensuring the plastic arms go into the holes. Then using the metal hooks here, 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 and here, we will lay the clip down, bottom first, small press at the top, 
place our keycap back on top, and we are functional. We'll now show you how to remove a laptop key. Simply pull on the edge of the key in a gentle but firm motion. Lift up and remove the key. It's that simple. If your key is loose and not sticking properly to your keyboard, your retainer clips are likely broken. This issue can be fixed by replacing your retainer clips. Replacement laptop keys and retainer clips can be purchased at LaptopKey.com. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys.